Hello, hello, my beautiful people, and welcome or welcome back to the Authentically Blue podcast. I am your host, Carlson. In today's episode, we have a new segment. I am calling it the Off Topic episodes. And I don't know how often I'm going to do this, but the Off Topic episodes is episodes where I am just rambling with no aim or direction. Um, this week, I have had so many thoughts, and I decided why not. Some of it was enlightening, so I thought, why not include it in a bonus podcast episode? Because I didn't release an episode last week and I felt kind of bleh because I'm trying to be consistent with my releasing schedule. And um, here we are. I have a bonus episode for the bonus season. I enjoy giving context as to where I am just to give you, the listener, some idea of what's happening, you know, so you can feel the vibes. I am currently in my parents' sitting room alone and the time is 10 43 no 9 43 p.m nobody's in the house and this is unheard of i usually record these episodes at like midnight or 1 a.m because that's when everything is silent but today everybody's out my parents have gone on a road trip to go pick my brothers at my grandmother's place in kericho and my other brother who i'm staying with is out at a bridal shower helping my uncle take pictures so i'm alone in the house and i was watching a series on netflix called hollywood which is amazing it's a short series so if you need something to watch go check that out i am a huge history buff and this show was up my alley i loved it the title of this episode is called nonsense and you're probably thinking what the heck but i'm going to give you context for those of you who follow me on instagram All my friends, if you don't, by the way, everything is linked down below. Go follow, reach out, say hello. I always enjoy when people reach out to me. I posted on my Instagram last week a reel by Sabrina Carpenter. She released a Christmas version of her song Nonsense and I was in love and obsessed. I don't think there's any other way to say it. I am hooked. It's so catchy and amazing and like brilliant marketing from her and her team. Some people were like, did you just invent Hot Girl Christmas? And I was like, I don't know about that, but I love the song. Go listen to it if you haven't. I'm going to link it down below. I'm going to link it down below. But I thought of the name Nonsense because I'm not going to be talking nonsense in this episode, but it is kind of nonsense because it's all over the place and just, you know, a rambly episode. But this isn't the first time I've actually used one of Sabrina Carpenter's songs as my titled for the episode if you go look back you'll realize in episode two which is titled first times that's after one of her songs also in episode two i talk about changes in life and in her song she actually talks about changes in life as well i have her lyrics here which i pulled up because i was like i think i'm gonna want to say this the lyrics read these are first times and first nights yeah no times for rewrites we couldn't help it I got carried away for a second and started singing, so I had to edit that part out. Fun fact for my Sabrina Carpenter listeners out there, I absolutely love her songs. Her album, Emails I Can't Send, is a godsend and insane. Okay, enough about that. In this episode, I was going to talk about a couple of things. As I mentioned, I felt a couple of highs and a couple of lows this week. A big thing I've realized is I get a lot of inspiration of the things I consume in my life. And I realized that a lot this week, especially while watching shows and entertainment. Two things in particular. I was watching a movie with my brother the other day called Just Mercy. He just came back and he's tiptoeing across the room. He doesn't want to make some noise. Yes, I was watching a show called Just Mercy, which is on Netflix. And there's something about injustice that makes my blood boil. And this film portrayed this injustice perfectly. The whole movie is based on a true story about a man who was wrongly framed for murder. Um, I won't go in depth in case you want to go listen to it. But it the film itself reminded me of all the times people have faced injustices in the world. And it pushed me to think of what initiatives I can take to make things right or improve the world. That's a little bit of a side note, but yeah, that's a random thing that happened this week. I watched the Harry and Meghan documentary this week and oh my goodness, I loved it. I have only watched the first three episodes that they have released and they're going to release the next three on Thursday, which I cannot wait for. But so far, my thoughts are I'm grateful that they're speaking the truth and I'm so happy to see the behind the scenes. 
I had a feeling that they would talk about the media and its effect on their family, especially because of Princess Diana, what happened to Prince Harry's mom. And it was literally the same thing that's up to Meghan Markle. Another thing was I could not believe that they released footage and shared how they got to know each other and like pictures and everything. I was screaming. I was like, oh my goodness, because... I followed them since 2017. Like I was literally watching Suits while um, the news broke that they were dating. The season finale was being, they were shooting the season finale at the time when the news broke. And I loved Suits. It was, it's one of the first shows I ever watched and I was like in love with it. And I really liked Megan. So it was just around that time that I moved to the UK. So seeing her join the royal family was insane to me it was amazing seeing the footage i don't know how many times i'm gonna repeat that but i was thrilled go watch it if you haven't and let me know your thoughts i can't wait for the next few episodes a lot of life is out of our control and i always keep this in mind when i'm making decisions or thinking about how my life i want my life to be i always do my best to be grateful for the moments i am in and appreciate what's happening i know so many of us do that now especially after the pandemic and difficulties we have faced particularly for those who've lost family members you get to appreciate the moments you have with those who are alive and you really value it at the same time it's very easy for us to not take initiative for what we want in our life i was reminded this week by how important it is to take charge I felt a burst of appreciation this week a couple of times and I also felt blue as I mentioned and these contrasting feelings were insane so of course I journaled it. I'm going to touch on the exciting bit and the high and then I'm going to talk about the low later onwards. The high. Life, a lot of life is out of our control and it's really easy to lay back and be chill about it and not Take initiative, go for what you want and try and change things because you're used to things being a certain way or expect things to be a certain way. My goodness, this week I had a couple of moments where I'm like, do you know what? I'm going for it. I am taking the initiative and doing something. And every time I did that, I was so grateful and happy and excited and fulfilled. So if there's anything in your life that you're thinking at the moment, I wish this was better, or you're feeling meh about it, try and figure out how can I make my life more exciting? How can I be more happy in this moment? What can I do in this moment to be more fulfilled? What actions can I take to ensure that I am being the best version of me and striving for my dreams and doing what I want to do? Because life is short, y'all. We only have this one life we live. And we don't know how long we're living, we're going to be on this universe for. Take the initiative. And yes, we should be grateful for what we have. And it's easy to be, you know, chill and mellow about it. But appreciate the moments you have with people, with loved ones, with with whoever it is you value and love. Make memories and savor this moment. Take it in. Appreciate it. I think after the pandemic and specifically, of course, losing a loved one in the family, I have taken it upon myself to like treasure moments I have with people. As you can probably tell in the previous episodes, in my segment portion, most of the things I'm grateful for is moments with family. And I don't say that just to say that like I really, truly appreciate it. I'm so excited my brothers are coming back. I can't wait to like spend more time with them before they open school. All the songs we're going to sing, the card games, the playing sports, the swimming, the activities activities but that's just one portion my dad's back and I can't wait to have moments like that with him too and my mom and my other brother before he leaves but whoever it is in your life take charge and enjoy those moments because we don't know how long we have left on this earth so appreciate life and on the note of appreciating life live your life fully I know it's a bit of a roundabout version and I'm slightly repeating myself, but these are really important reminders I had this week and I was like, oh my goodness. It's not that I didn't have these reminders earlier, but this week I feel like they were highlighted for me. Living life fully, appreciating my life and not dimming my light for other people. It's easy to it's easy to find yourself recoiling and not being yourself. And this week I had moments where I did that and I had to catch myself and be like, no, 
when we're doing that, we're going to appreciate who we are and be comfortable in who we are in the moment. Um, this is like, oh my goodness, the dogs are barking outside. But I'm going to add it in for the extra spas <laughs> in the episode. Another thing I realized this week, or I don't want to say realized, but was highlighted for me this week is not being scared to take chances. There are a couple of things I did this week where I... I'll give you one example. I have a friend who I hadn't seen a couple of years and I texted my friend. I was like, hey, are you around? My friend said yes. And I was like, send me your address. I'm going to come see you right now. And I did it. And I'm so grateful because we had an amazing time. I've kind of summarized and not included all the details, but my friend was like, you like living life on the edge. And I was like, no, I am appreciating life as it is and going for things because life is short. And if I don't take that initiative, I wouldn't have had an amazing evening with my friend and had that memory. So go for it. Think of something you want to do right now and do it. Something that scares you or like you're excited to do, but you're nervous about it. Add those emotions to your week in life. Trust me, it's worth it. Another thing is my mentality changed a lot. As I said it earlier in the episode, there are a couple of things that I had to do, some deadlines I had, obligations I had to meet, family, things I needed to do. And there were so many moments I was just like, oh my goodness, this is so much. I don't want to do this right now. And then I would take a deep breath and remind myself, I get to do these things. I don't have to. Okay, I have to do these things, yes. But when I tell myself I get to do these things, it changed it for me and gave me that room to breathe and be like okay you can do this i started motivating myself and being like you can do this so go for it i know that's a small simple thing i am going to have a whole episode about mindset and perspective but every time i told myself like you can do this it really boosted my esteem and morale and drive and i found myself doing these tasks in a way that wasn't challenging or daunting and i got that shit done I don't usually send my episodes, but the last episode I did and I'm, you know, forgetting myself here. But perspective matters. So check your perspective. How are you feeling? Rephrase it. You have the power to rephrase your perspective. You can absolutely do it. Another random thought was home is where I am. I have had so many places I've lived in. I've lived with different family members. I've lived in different countries and different cities and with different people. And sometimes I feel nostalgic and miss all these different places. And sometimes it makes me sad. Other times I'm really grateful I got that opportunity of living with different people and so many places I can call home. But having that realization that home is not the environment, but home is where I am as a person. My presence, who I am, my views, my behavior. Home is always going to be where I am as a human being. This is a very specific um, thought. So I don't know who it's going to help out there, who has a similar experience to me. It may be in different places you're living in. It kind of reminded me of the documentary with Meghan Markle where she talked about a poem when she lived as a product of divorce. She lived in two homes and she said a poem in the film. I can't actually, I don't know the poem off the top of my head, but it's something like living in two sofas and sharing herself half the time, not feeling like she's fitting in. I don't know whether she meant that in terms of being biracial, but you get the idea what I'm trying to say. Home is not a place. Home is where you are. She meant living in different places sometimes was weird, whereas other people would live in one place. And I know everyone's experience is different. For some reason, things happen for the way they happen. I don't know. I had a discussion about this in the podcast one time, but trying to stay positive here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, home is where I am. To the specific person, it might help out there who needed to hear this. I hope that made a difference. I hope you resonated with that. Another feeling I had this week was feeling really calm and wholesome. There were moments where I felt euphoric about life. And it's not that I haven't felt that way in a very long time, but I just felt amazing and excited and thrilled. I don't know if you guys feel like that, but it's been a while since I felt that way. So I was grateful I felt as way in those moments. And moments where my mind was at ease and my heart was still and I was just present i feel like i'm i sound like a guru of some sort right now 
<laughs> but I am visualizing the moment I felt these things and I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, try and find moments where you feel calm and wholesome. An example of a moment where I felt like this was when I was in my aunt's place and um, I was knitting. And I remember just sitting there knitting and just being in conversation with them, talking about playing Ludo and my uncle quizzing us about general knowledge. It's just mundane moments like that that just made me feel amazing and appreciative of life. I was euphoric, which which was insane. Okay, that's all I have for my high moments in life. I know there are so many lessons and reminders and whatever in them, but here we are. Now I'm going to talk about feeling blue. This one's more short. It's not as long. I found myself a couple of times this week slipping into habits that I thought I got rid of. Like a friend of mine mentioned something and it kind of angered me. And I let that anger over for a couple of hours of the day, which was not my intention. You know, I am human. These things happen. But I ended up sleeping it off and it helped. Another thing is depression. I know some people have seasonal depression because of the weather, but a few months ago, I had an existential crisis. <laughs> As I like to say, it sounds weird saying all this stuff out loud, but um, I found myself slipping into certain thoughts I had during the time I was having this crisis. I really had to check myself and think what triggered this and I couldn't pinpoint exactly what triggered this but I wrote down how I was feeling and tried to unpack all of it thankfully I'm not feeling blue anymore but it just made me think of how grateful I am that my mental health is doing better than it was a while ago and um, if you're going through a phase where you're not yourself or you're depressed or anxious or nervous please reach out to someone please give yourself grace during this time I know how easy it is to go in on yourself and be hard on yourself so just reach out to someone i am always available feel free to reach down below in the dms email me i'm always sending you love and wishing you the best in whatever it is you're going through another thing that made me feel kind of blue was was my body because i was really busy the past two weeks i haven't been working out as much as i did i wasn't in a consistent workout routine and i caught myself this week thinking negative thoughts about my body and i haven't felt like that for so many months i started taking my health really seriously in march where i was so consistent in the gym and everything that i lost weight my aim was not to lose weight but my aim was to be more fit and healthy because i was going through that crisis and i was like i don't want to deal with this right now i need to find a way to express my emotions and get my energy somewhere and flowing and there's so many benefits to exercises i've mentioned so many times in this podcast but yeah i had a healthy relationship with my body with exercise with food then i caught myself slipping this week and i had to remind myself it's okay i'm human i had to give myself these reminders to like breathe and take it easy and give myself grace i know i talk a lot about giving yourself grace but it's honestly one of the most important things and it's super hard to do that when you're in that moment but it's so important it is really important give yourself grace in those moments give myself (laughs) i gave myself grace in that moment i'm doing better now i'm gonna have an episode where i talk about depression and body dysmorphia and movement all these things i have planned up i have content planned like an insane human being i am excited my creative juices are flowing that is it for this week's episode beautiful people i know it was all over the place it is a nonsense episode um i i'm sending you love wherever you are in the world thank you so much for listening and tuning in and reaching out and dming if you do like these off-topic episodes i'm more than happy to do more of them i think i'm opening opening up more and more to the mic i mean in my authentic crumbles i am authentic i think this is the most raw i've been on the episode on the podcast but one of my aims for this podcast is to be of course as authentic as i can and finding that balance between what you know i'm sharing and what i'm not but we're all human we all go through similar experiences and we all resonate with different things we all go through the same emotions at different levels so if this If anything I share can help one person out there, 
I am more than happy and at peace because there's so many moments where different podcasts or things I've read or listened to or entertainment have been there for me as a human and I love storytelling so here we are okay thank you for tuning in and I hope you have a beautiful week I'm gonna catch you on Wednesday oh by the way on Wednesday I have an absolutely exciting episode you guys are not ready okay goodbye Thank you.